So it's Sunday afternoon today um, and we're supposed to get rain like 20 to 40 mil tomorrow and rain the rest of the week so I thought get the camera out get some jobs done just a Sunday afternoon a couple of jobs I want to get done um, before we get all this rain again and everything gets soaking wet so let's do it Mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip video. First thing on this list of things to do is to do this edge along this curb just here. I um, just want to tidy it up. Um, if you saw in the last video, I cleaned this little car park area. Just want to get the grass off the edge there. We'll see how we go because the blade on my edger is quite tiny. <laughs> so I need to replace that. Don't touch it. Right, let's go. So that's all done. Um, I just wanted to get the dirt out of there so when the rain comes, it's actually gonna drain through the gutters, like through the middle there. That's the main reason I just wanna tidy that up a little bit, give it a slight bit of an edge. I did need to come through with a blade edger and really go across there, but I need to get something that's a little bit longer now because that one is like two years old. It needs to be, you know, refreshed. But it does look good. A lot tidier. Beautiful. landscape blade here just to do around this little section of the dam just cut the grass back a bit only because I want to find the pipe that comes out from the car park drain um, into this area because I was speaking to the previous owner of this place and they said the owner before them told them that there was a pit there that ran into the dam so the pipe does come to the dam which is awesome so see if we can find it by using this bad boy luck at the moment um, can't seem to see it anyway might have to run a hose down the actual drain and see where it runs or when it's pouring rain tomorrow at 40 mil we'll come down and see where it pops out that might be an idea I might do that um, just to make sure it is popping out because yeah 
I don't want to go any further with this. Um, I've ripped it up quite a lot. That landscape blade though smashes through it. Um, it's a good thing, it's never seen a day of its life like that, never worked a day of its life. Like in, at the old house, like it just was trimming off the like five or six mil at a time. Um, anyway, looks tidy, but I'd, I'd rather leave the long Polaris grass around it, but what it meant, that's fine. Oh, we should go in there, just just that spot there, because you can actually see an old trench, which looks like it might run into that area there. So let's just, let's do it for a couple more seconds. I don't know, man. I just need to put a hose down there. I'm just digging for the sake of digging now. Um, it's getting late in the Arvo. I might get back tomorrow, put some acetylprin down or something, um, and see if we can see anything coming out the bottom of this dam here. So, see you guys. Was right. We're back next day. So yesterday, it's got a bit of rain, and I could see where the water was coming out from the pipe down the dam. So I'll show you this footage up on the screen now. I've got it on my iPhone. So I didn't want to get this camera too wet, um, but I dug it out um, and you can see we definitely have a pipe leading into the dam from that pit and it's still actually flowing right now even though there's basically no rain coming down. Oh, it's, it's dribbling a smidge. Um, but yeah, it's filled up the dam which is nice. Very, very nice. Mm. So that's awesome. I'll actually get quite a bit of collection um, from that car park up there. Some comes off from the shed as well and runs down a pipe that comes into this. So it all feeds down to here, so I might dig this dam out, who knows. We might actually dig it out, make it a bit bigger um, if we need to do that. But I'll tell you what, it's probably going to be hard though because we've got so much rain predicted this summer. Probably won't be able to dig it out. Anyway, we'll see how we go. <laughs> anyway, now that that's done, I want to get my acelerprin down because I'm supposed to get some rain later today. So I want to get it down before the rain so I don't have to put any sprinklers out and water it in. So. Let's get that, that out and do it. Alright, so this is the product here. This is a Celeprint GR. So this is a preventative insecticide um, product, which is going to prevent mostly African black beetle, but also Argentine scarab, bill bug, and also lawn caterpillars. So my, a really common one is army worm which a lot of you guys would have heard of before. So the main reason we're getting it down today is to prevent, prevent that African black beetle. They start to lay their larvae very very soon and this is going to prevent them um, basically doing damage to your turf more towards you know, towards November, December. So this acelerprim will last all season long so up to about six months so put it down now you're going to protect yourself for the season. So the idea is we water it in today after this application down which the rain will do for us um, and then it'll give us that prevention of those dirty little black beetle grubs. Um, those little, everyone calls them like, they look like, they're not witchetty grubs, but some people say they look like witchetty grubs. Um, white curl grubs is another way. I'll put a picture on the screen, that might help. Anyway, um, so we're gonna prevent that today. Now, if you were wanting to do, prevent, um, not prevent, sorry, knock down some um, lawn caterpillars, so maybe some army worm, if you've got some army worm in your turf. Um, you put it down and you leave it on the turf for 24 hours and then you water it in so it takes control of those pests. If you water it in straight away, it's not going to knock um, your lawn caterpillars. So make sure if you've got something like army worm, that you leave it on your plant for 24 hours. So don't apply it in the rain, well, on oncoming rain like I'm about to very soon. Anyway, it's a very safe insecticide. Um, so you're gonna be fine with your pets, your kids, and everything like that. I mean, always with any herbicide or product you use, don't let them back on the area until you've watered it in and it's dried out. Just what I recommend. Um, but yeah, it's very safe stuff. Um, if you want any more information on this product as well, I've actually got an older video where I show it off. Um, but this is the product here, really small prill size on it, as you can see. I think it's 150 SGN. 
So nice and nice and fine, which is gonna be great for your shorter cut turf as well. But if you want more info, check the link below where I show an old video, old video. But let's put this down before this rain hits, because I don't want it to rain on here. So I ended up opening it up a little bit more. Bumped it up to about 21. Um, haven't used that thing for a while, so I couldn't quite remember where it was, but the good thing is if you set it too low, you can just open it up as you go. Um, after one pass anyway, and go back over that spot again. Sort of a sort of a feel thing when it comes to these things. You can calibrate them, but every single fertilizer, insecticide, granule product is gonna be a little bit different because your pill size is always gonna be a smidge different. So always recommend you set it lower to start with, and then you can sort of adjust from there. Even if you go over it once when it's low, or the whole area once and then bump it up a little bit and go over it in a different direction um, you're just going to get better results going over it a few times anyway so it's not an issue if it takes you a little bit longer um, another quick question i wanted to answer about putting a celeprin down this time of year is i know that everyone's getting ready for reno season um, and the question i get is can you put this product down before renovation and if i do a renovation is it gonna stop this product being as effective? And the question, the answer to that is no, it's not. Just because your core aerating doesn't mean it's gonna break that barrier up in the soil. I've read a few um, tests from a few universities, turf universities over in the States. And it's the same with barricade and pre-emergence. It's not going to break down that um, layer of protectiveness, if that's what you call it, <laughs> in your soil there. So feel free to put it down before um, renovation or put it down at renovation and let it drop down to your core holes as well. Whatever works for you, but if you're doing a later renovation, make sure you get this stuff down now before they start laying their larvae. In orange, it's around about end of September, so I'm putting this down a little bit early, but we'll still be covered. Um, if you're in Queensland or something like that, you wanna get this down now. So it's not far away from renovation season now, so I'm probably gonna do my renos, what are we in now, end of, probably in the next three weeks. So um, I need to figure out where to get a core aerator. Um, I might just get a bluebird from Kennard's Hire in town, or Coates, whoever's got them. Um, if anyone knows of somewhere I can loan one from, or someone can send me a demo model, shout out. No, I'll probably just get one from down at Kennard's or something like that. I actually did try to buy one a couple of months ago, but I'm not sure what happened with that. Haven't heard any updates on that as of yet. Um, COVID has slowed a lot of things down. Um, a lot of guys have offered to come do it for me as well, which I would love, but just currently with lockdowns and stuff, we're in lockdown here in Orange. Um, it's just a bit hard to organize any of that sort of stuff and book a date because of everything that's going on. Anyway, we'll figure something out. Might even be able to get something that I can tow behind the tractor or something like that. Wish I could borrow the one from my bro's golf course. They've got a new tire one they just got in anyway. Anyway, we'll figure it out, but reno season is coming up and I'm excited. Well, thanks guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Excited for everything that is going on. I know I've said that so many times, but I'm keen to get into some projects. Like, it's so awesome having all this land compared to the place in town, which I was basically just mowing every video in the end because it was looking pretty pristine. So it's nice to have projects to go on for years and years and show you guys the journey along the way. Anyway, thanks guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.